Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I would like to welcome you to my interview with Hot Fire, Myron Reed. Hello. Hello, how are you doing? Oh, fantastic, how are you doing? I'm good, I'm doing alright. Awesome to hear. We are here at Pro Wrestling Revolver, where you'll soon be in the Open Invite Scramble Championship Absolutely. match. There's a lot of tough competition in this, so how are you oh, yeah. going into it? Um, I've been in this match a couple times before, so I feel like I know the landscape. I think I'm ready for this. I think I'm going to walk out of there with the Scramble Championship. Okay. Absolutely. And not too long ago, you were sharing that you're actually living in Ohio. So are you still uh, still here? Yes, I uh, okay. moved here in May. So, yeah, I've been living here ever since. And so living with Dave, your trainer. Yep. And what, what's that like? So I'm assuming the camaraderie in the house. There are a lot of, there are a lot of uh, his kids, as he calls them in there. So. Yeah. Um, it's awesome. It's uh, a lot of younger uh, talent like myself get to get an opportunity to train, work out, and do all that stuff, you know, for a cheap living, you know, because with wrestling, you know, it's it's very uh, high demand, like money wise. So rent's cheaper, everything's cheaper there, instead of you know, opposed to paying six hundred plus dollars a month for rent. So it's it's a big help for all of us, and it's awesome learning every day. Of course, I introduced you by your nickname, Hot Fire. I love how you're yes. repping it as well. Very cool T-shirt right there. Thank you. You're very welcome. When was the first time that you were coined or called Hot Fire? How did that kind of come about? Um, when I first started, I was like just doing all kind of like crazy stuff, testing it out, and uh, I had a lot of people say, "Oh man, that was hot. That was that was fire. That was hot." And then I was just like, "Yo, I feel like Hot Fire is like a really cool <laughs> nickname. I've never heard of anyone be called Hot Fire." So then, like, it just like stuck with me, okay. and ever since then. Did you have any other nicknames prior to that that you were called growing up, or is that the main one that stuck? Um, the nickname I have in the house now, they call me Lil Dookie. Okay. I think I think it's funny. I heard, I heard that outside. Where, where did that come from? Well, I don't know. Uh, well, actually, I think it was when they were joking. It was me and Clayton Jackson, and I was I called him uh, Lil Dookie, and Zach was like, nah, you're Lil Dookie. And I was like, no, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not Lil Dookie. And then, like, from there, because I was, like, I denied it, everyone's been calling me Lil Dookie since then. And it's just, it's a thing now, I guess. You happy that one stuck or not, not so much? Uh, it, it's growing on me now, but, like, at first <laughs> I was like, oh, I hate this, I hate this name. They're saying it out of love. That's all you need to know, yeah. right? Yeah, absolutely. Well, to celebrate the very cool nickname, I created a little game called Hot Fire or Not Fire. So oh, I'm wow. going to say a word. If you happen to like the word and the, the context of it, it's Hot Fire. If you don't like it, it's Not Fire. Not Fire. Sweet. You ready? I'm a, I'm a big fan of games. All right. Emojis. Hot Fire. Water slides. Hot Fire. Iced tea. Hot Fire. When people wear black lipstick. Not Fire. Snowboarding. Not Fire. I'm not a fan of the cold. Okay. The zoo. Fire. Colored pants. Fire. Fire, okay. How about camping? Not fire. And the last one, lip piercings. Mm, not fire for me. <laughs> <laughs> you really not were fire. like, oh, you had a little, uh, little shake there, too. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not a fan of lip piercings. It seems like it hurts. Okay. <laughs> I noticed that you have your ears pierced, though. Is that the only yep, thing? Yep, that's, that's the only thing for me. Okay, how's the pain tolerance on that? You were able to... Oh, it was super easy. I got it when I was, like, in fifth grade. Okay. So, <laughs> I barely remember it, but, like, it wasn't too bad if I don't remember it that well. Right? It wasn't too traumatizing, <laughs> yeah. clearly. I noticed that you said hot fire for colored pants, and that's one that gets a lot of no's uh, really? quite often. So uh, we'll be see you kind of like rocking some some bright pants. Colored pants. Like, I feel you... like I feel like you should be able to express yourself when you when you dress always. And colored pants are cool. I don't know why people don't think colored pants are cool. <laughs> that's weird. You to mentioned me. expressive dressing there. So when you look back at certain fads that you had growing up, is there anything that comes to mind that you were a little bit embarrassed of, or you've been pretty uh, pretty good as far as the fads go? Hmm. I don't know. Give me, give me an example. Give like, an example. I went through this weird hippie phase where, like, every single thing I wore had peace signs on it. Really? No idea why. Let me think. So that was something that I went through. I tried to, like, when I was, like, I think ninth or tenth grade, I tried to set a trend and wear, like, basketball sleeves with regular clothes. And it, it wasn't a thing. I got joked on for it. So, I like, it, like, the second time I wore it, I, like, it stopped. Okay. It, it, so, so now I get to wear them. Didn't last long, but <laughs> yeah, not at all, not at all. Well, the tweet I have here from you that stood out to me, and I'd love to hear a bit more about is I just be balling like swoosh. <laughs> what were you feeling when you sent that out? Everything like like eighty percent of the stuff I post is like song lyrics. Okay. And I'm trying to remember what the song's from. Okay, and I remember. I remember. It's a it's a song by this artist named DDG. Uh, it's called Hood Santa. Okay. 
I noticed that you post a lot of music stuff. Like you put a yeah. Kendrick Lamar uh, album lately and some collaborations. Dude, awesome. So it's is awesome. that the stuff you've been listening to as of late? Like it's been more towards the, the rap realm or? I'm a big fan of hip hop, but I like all music. I like all music. So, but like hip hop is more of like a motivational for me, whether it's working out or driving to a show. Like I feel like you should be listening to stuff that's going to get you motivated for that night, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Something to get you hyped up, Absolutely, right? yeah. Sometimes you don't want to, you don't, you're tired and you're just like, ah, I'm dreading this. And then you get some good music and you're just like, let's do this. Okay. So, it just turns you 180? Absolutely. Is that kind of your go-to to get hyped? Is it music? Yeah, or? music's a huge thing for me. Okay. I don't know how to do it on music. Well, speaking to music, if you could have any artist create some entrance music for you, who would you love to see do that? Travis Scott. Okay. It's my favorite artist. He's awesome. Yeah? Absolutely. What about awesome. him do you love? I just like his style. Like, he's different, like, as opposed to, like, most rappers would, like, for example, try and, like, uh, get other artists, bigger artists on their albums to help their popularity. Yeah. But he, like, gets the artist that fits with the song that he's playing. So I like his style. I just think he's, he's awesome. And do you have a favorite theme in music or in wrestling, like a an entrance theme? Mine. <laughs> You're not allowed to pick your own. Okay. <laughs> Shoot. Um. Strickland's. Okay. Yeah. He has got to be that one. He wanted to pick his own too. I'm like, yeah. You're not allowed. <laughs> That's it too sucks. easy. You gotta love your own music. Of course. As Got you said, to. it's the one thing that gets you hyped up, right? Absolutely. And yeah. if you were to be in a band, what? do you think you'd play as far as would you be like the front man a guitarist or have you dabbled into playing anything before uh piano when i was younger but okay. that that's about it like musically wise i'm not very musically talented rather that's why i'm wrestling you know say, rather, <laughs> <laughs> rather <laughs> listen to it than play it i guess yeah absolutely okay. uh probably be the guitarist because i don't know i'm not i can't sing i can't sing and i i just don't think I could find the time to uh, write lyrics. So I'd just be like, hey, I'm going to be back here playing the guitar. So. <laughs> you tell was, me what to do. That was some convincing air guitar right there, too. <laughs> I suck at it, so I'm, 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 I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> well, let's wrap things up. I do want to leave it with the fans. Is there anything you want to say to everybody viewing? Um, honestly, I just want to say thank you for the support. I'm looking to go bigger this year than I did last year. And uh, I appreciate you guys supporting me and all the opportunities. I'm very blessed and thankful for everything. And um, follow me on Twitter, at The Bad Read, or um, Facebook, Myron Reed, Instagram, uh, Reed's World, Reed's period world. So, <laughs> I had to put it because, like, you, know, you might not, you might not, I might not come up. Did we get I think we got everything covered. As yeah. far as that That's goes. Everything. Perfect. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. It's my pleasure. And remember to everybody viewing, you can visit us at musicblogger.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, so much more. See ya.